Welcome to More Fun with Fractions for week three of your course. How do you add like fractions? Like fractions are fractions with the same denominators. And how do you add them? Well, you just add the numerators, of course. They're the easiest kind to deal with. Let's take a look at one. If you have two ninths and one ninths, and you want to add them up, just add the numerators. Gives you three ninths, and of course, as you've known from last week, you can reduce that to one third. Nothing hard yet. Another example. Let's add up three fourths and three fourths. If you add up three fourths and three fourths, you're going to get six fourths, which you add no, you all know is an improper fraction. What can you do about that? Well, you can turn the improper into a mixed number. And you could just take the 4 and divide it into the 6. And what do you get? Well, it'll go in once with a remainder of 2. Pardon my handwriting. That would be 1 and 2 fourths. But you're not going to write it that way, right? Because 1 and 2 fourths is really just 1 and a half. Okay? No big shakes. Let's talk about least common multiples. And I'd like to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. The concept of least common multiple is related to greatest common factor, but it's different. Let's take a look. These are the multiples of 6 up to about 54. And these are the multiples of 8 up to 64. Now, if you compare this row and this row, you will notice that 48 is in both of them. Is that, that's a common multiple. Is it the least common multiple? No. You can do better because there's a 24 there and a 24 there. Excuse me. The least common multiple is 24. Do the same problem again. Uh, find the LCM of 6 and 8, but let's use the prime factor method. Prime factor method, it, you might remember that from last week, is a great way of getting the greatest common factor, too. Uh, and I'd use it for big numbers. These aren't big numbers, but I just want to demonstrate the method. So let's take 6 and 8, and we'll take the 6 and break it down into 2 and 3. We'll break the 8 into what its prime factors are, 2 cubed. Now I'm going to build myself I, um, the least common multiple. And I do that by comparing these two numbers. Now, first off, um, there's a 2 in common. Let's grab the one with the bigger exponent, which would be the 2 cubed. So put that down, 2 cubed. That leaves you the 3. We don't throw away any factors this time because we need them all for LCMs. And we'll put that over here times 3, and that will be your LCM. 2 cubed times 3, which is 8 times 3, is 24, the same answer we got before. OK, now let's try adding some unlike fractions. And the problem we're going to work on is this guy. Notice the denominators are different, which makes it unlike fractions. What's our strategy here? Well, first we're going to find the LCM of 6 and 8, which of course we already know, right? It's 24. Using that, we're going to build equivalent fractions where the denominators are 24 and then add them. In this case, we'll multiply the 6 by 4 and multiply the 1 by 4. That'll give us a 24 there. Multiply the 8 by 3 and the numerator also by 3, we'll end up with 24 in both of the denominators. Now we can add them, and we get 13 over 24. Isn't that nice? Now let's do an operation with mixed numbers, and our problem this time will be 7 and a third minus 4 and 2 thirds. Notice, of course, the denominators are the same this time. Strategy is simple. Go 
convert them to improper fractions, and then you can do the operation and then convert them back. Converting these to improper's, we get this. The 22 here you got by going 7 times 3 plus 1. And that 14 there you got by going 4 times 3 plus 2. Okay. They gave us two number, uh, two fractions that we can add together, get 8 thirds, and that reduces the 2 and 2 thirds. Okay. Let's look at more mixed numbers. This time we're going to look at an example that has unlike fractions to the mixed number part. That doesn't really make anything that much harder. Our strategy is the same. Convert it to improper fractions, which we all know how to do now. And now that we got it improper fractions, we treat it like we did any unlike fractions. We're going to have to find the LCM of the two denominators, which in this case is 24. Now we're going to find equivalent fractions, uh, and build it up so that both denominators are 24. And to do that, we multiply this 8 by 3. We're going to get a 24 down there. We're going to multiply that 3 by 8. We'll get a 24 down there. Do the same thing on the tops. Simplify it. And we find our answer is 67 over 24. Again, it's improper. We got to change it back to a mixed number, and the answer is 2 and 19 over 24. Okay? If you're having any problems with this week's uh, material, please let me know. I needed a way to end my show, so that's all, folks.